Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Carol, you'll recognize the uh, background. Let me change it. <laughs> <laughs> you stinker. I didn't. I thought that was your comments. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, I love it. That's the, uh, I know I had uh, Casey. Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, she called you on the carpet for that. <laughs> she did. She did. She's like, "Hey, can you rotate your screen?" I'm like, "Well, you don't realize. Well, you don't realize, Casey, is I'm in my car. That's that's my that's just a screenshot of my home. So uh, let me uh, get rid of that. Actually, I'll, I'll leave that uh, for the moment here. Actually, uh, until I'll just go off camera for a moment here, um, because I am up at the cottage and uh, making my way to the walking trail. So, um, gosh, we've got a bunch of people in here, um, already. So happy <laughs> Saturday to everyone. Let me see, uh, who we've got here. We've got, uh, oh my gosh, we've got, uh, Linda. Great to see you, Linda. We have a Tana. We have Kathy, of course, Carol. Um, I just spoke with, uh, 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 we've got Corey, we've got Corey. Oh man, this is great. So everybody's coming on in here. I was saying, uh, uh, Erica likely will join, but she will be staying off, uh, off, uh, you know, just kind of being a fly on the wall on this one, which is great. Um, and so everybody knows, uh, everybody is welcome to, participate in any discussions, but you're not, uh, you don't have to. Uh, it's just totally volunteer. Uh, we make a, an opportunity as we go around the horn on various topics of health point to ask questions, give comments, chime in. And uh, if you're uh, able to contribute, great. If you'd prefer not to, that's totally, totally good. So, all right. So <laughs> again, this is so funny. Let me uh, get rid of this background. That was so funny with Casey on Thursday. She's like, Eric, so can I, you rotate? Go ahead. No, no, I go ahead. I'm trying to oh, get I, my camera back on. Here. Oh, here we go. I lost my video. Okay. There's, go ahead. there's that beautiful Florida sky <laughs> and palm trees. <laughs> it's just always oh, just lit up. And I will get into my background here. So my question is, um, when you have a backdrop like that on Zoom, does that not cancel out if you go out of that little space? Doesn't it cancel your bodily parts if you are a person that <laughs> likes to talk with their arms? <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. If you noticed, uh, so so to give context for everybody else uh, on here that might be wondering what we're talking about on Thursday, uh, there's a presentation of a business model and uh, Casey with Network 21 had asked, actually, we didn't know this until moments before, uh, had asked uh, Carol to uh, be you know, a speaker or give an impact statement which is awesome. And then she had also asked me and I said, yes, knowing that, well, this might be a little tricky on the timing, <laughs> but I won't, <laughs> I won't worry Casey about that. She needs somebody. And uh, so I just made it happen. But uh, moments before I pulled off into a parking lot off the highway and did the background, changed my background because it was a you know, professional business presentation. And so I wanted a bit of a different background, but we get, log on just a few minutes before they let in, you know, hundred plus people into the Zoom. And she's, you know, just to do mic checks and video checks and all that kind of stuff. And she says, Erica, looks good. Can you rotate your back? Your, <laughs> your, can you, can you go into uh, from uh, portrait to landscape? And I said, well, I got to let you in on a secret, Casey. I'm not in my home. It looks like it is, but I'm in my car. <laughs> and so that was the context of it for everybody that's in here. And uh, you're right, Carol. Uh, you really have to be kind of 
less hand gestures, less movement. And I also had to, you can kind of see how there's some light coming in my, my uh, side view here, anything like that. You know, I have, I've done it before. I do it a lot. So I have to, I block that so that it doesn't kind of come through. It looks like there's an aura <laughs> on you <Yeah. laughs> in, in the background. So yeah, there's a little bit of tips and tricks with that, but What's fun is here on our Saturday morning uh, walk and talks, it doesn't matter what our backgrounds are or anything. Right. We're just really chill. <laughs> so uh, I love it. Well, I'm going to go off camera because I've actually got the bike. I'm going to grab that and uh, let me um, zip on out of here and get that off. And gosh, let me take a look at what we, oh, we've got Hank. We've got iPhone 190. We've got Larry. And this is awesome. So again, um, gosh, lots and lots and lots of people in here. Oh, we have Marilyn. This is, um, Marilyn is uh, new to Health Point. Awesome. Let me just jump on here. And a couple of people are getting their mics and cameras taken care of, hooking up their mics and Marilyn, I know you can kind of hear us. Welcome, welcome. I think Marilyn, well, in fact, I know Marilyn. This is a first time visit. And uh, so again, I'll go off camera here and get on my bike. I don't recommend this to anybody else, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> we want right, to welcome so. Marilyn. I hear she's doing a really great job. So glad you're on, Marilyn. Yes. Marilyn, and I don't know if you have your microphone uh, on or off, but you're welcome to say hello. I think Marilyn is, she was heading someplace for uh, her and her husband for the Labor Day uh, to Northern Michigan. So she mentioned she may have uh, decent Wi-Fi. We'll see. But hey, let's uh, start going around the horn. Uh, Carol, always wonderful to... Uh, ask you know if I can ask you to kind of lead the discussion on anything uh and I'm going to go off camera here and and mute myself so I can get my bike out of the back of the vehicle so it's over to you Carol okay well I'd like to welcome everybody this morning and yeah I just want to do a quick check with you um a couple of things I learned uh that if you are a health point coach you might come across this and so I thought I would educate you a little this morning but before I do that, um, good morning. I want to really uh, emphasize what we have with our Health Point program. And, you know, most people get involved uh, initially to lose weight. I'm going to stop here because I want to read a little article. Uh, they they want to lose weight, and that's wonderful. That's exactly why most people start to begin with. But what, uh, what we realize and what they realize is um, – Usually after the first two, three weeks, especially with um, intense coaching, if you've got a person that really stays locked uh, at the hip with your coach, which I highly recommend for new people, um, you just realize there's so much more to health point. And when you start, I think there's like an aha moment, and it's usually right around seven days or so, and you start feeling massively great and you start realizing that wow just making some of these changes I mean these are not horribly big changes but just making some of these changes how much it can really um just revolutionize your life and uh, so I've got a, a gal that I'm walking with on this and she's doing everything right really really doing everything right and she happened to be on a vacation for 10 days which will end on Sunday well, on vacation, she didn't have any scale, but she just went on trusting the program, trusting me, trusting what I recommend for her. And she's, I think, in her maybe second or third week of um, meal um, weight loss days. So anyway, we've been keeping very close touch, but the, the um, responses I'm getting from her are what is really rich. And I wish I could go through some of them. I can't because I'm outdoors now, but... Uh, things that she says, I could never go back to eating like I did before because she was addicted to sugar and junk food. She said, I will never go back to that. Then she said, I absolutely have to lose weight and never put it back on again. I can never go back. 
And then another comment was, I feel like I'm getting the real me back. Well, that was so exciting to me because that's what it's all about. It's just bringing out the best of you and and creating those healthy habits. And she's creating habits, a lot of stuff that uh, like the, the little protein pudding that Eric um, gave me the recipe for for her. She's just loving that. Just a lot of different ideas that she's incorporated. But her her happiness is just so great and you can just feel it through the text. So when you offer Health Point to people or as you are a new person on Health Point, you are going to experience some real beautiful aha moments. So I say um, that there's two things about Health Point. One, you can go in with the idea of, I just want to get the pounds off. Well, you can do that and you can take the pounds off. But if that's all you do and you don't change any habits or you don't change your your mental focus and uh, detox your mind, so to speak, what's going to happen is you'll lose the weight and you'll just go off of it. And that doesn't solve anything. There's all kinds of diets out there. This isn't a diet. This is a lifestyle program. So the more you get those aha moments and you create the habits, that's what makes Health Point so different and why you keep it off for a lifetime. And the reason I'm saying this is because I came across uh, an article, and actually there's two articles, but based on the same premise. And that is that there's a lot of quick fix Band-Aid type things out there. People think they're fixing their health. They're not. They're losing some weight. Most of it's water weight, but they're not fixing their health because they're not detoxing their mind and they're not creating healthy habits. So one of those band-aids, I, I would say, is um, a product called Ozempic or Wegovy, uh, and it's now sold uh, is, is a product called a sem semaglutide. And I want to just read you two quick little articles because I think they're just monumental as far as what's out there and what people are falling for. Um, it says, taking drugs like Wegovy or Azempic for weight loss can be dangerous during surgery or procedures that require an empty stomach. These drugs have gained popularity because of their weight loss benefits. Along with Monjaro, the drugs are commonly prescribed to treat type 2 diabetes and contain semaglutide, which imitates the effects of GLP-1, a hormone responsible for regulating blood glucose level. And so many people are going to go on the program because they are pre-diabetic or diabetic, and they want to regulate their blood sugar, which is one of the most beautiful parts about our program. But sometimes people will take these drugs and think they can just do that, and they're just a pill away from health. Well, that's not the case. So it says from January to May, almost 6 million prescriptions were issued in the U.S. only for, for non-diabetic individuals for drugs such as Wegovy and Ozempic. People want the weight loss benefits due to appetite suppression and feelings of fullness that the drugs produce. These drugs, however, don't come, with side, or come without side effects. And then there's a whole bunch of side effects in here that I won't go into, um, but um, I am going to read you another article real quick, and it kind of tells you about these. This semaglutide, um, it uh, can lead to debilitating side effects, including delayed gastric emptying, also known as gastroparesis, gastroparesis, or stomach paralysis. Gastroparesis shows or stops the movement of slows or stops the movement of food from your stomach to your small intestine. This results in feeling full longer, which is one mechanism why, uh, which, by which semaglutide results in weight loss. Uh, gastroparesis uh, can also lead to debilitating nausea, vomiting, and in severe cases, dehydration and malnutrition. Due to the delayed stomach emptying that occurs in semaglutide, the American Society of Anesthesiologists released a warning that it could increase the risk of regurgitation and aspiration of food during general anesthesia. Other risks of these trendy weight loss drugs include intestinal obstruction, pancreatic cancer, thyroid tumors, gallbladder disease, and suicidal behavior. Now, um, to me, I think that is absolutely horrible that something like that is even allowed on the market. But sometimes we have to, in talking with people, get into conversations like this to protect them because people do not understand these things. And it is very, very severe. There's another whole page on basically uh, the side effects. And so what we want to do is we want to really just 
help them create healthy habits. And um, <clears throat> a particular gal I'm working with right now, this is her main emphasis, even though she wants to lose 75 pounds, she said her main emphasis is she wants to be healthy. She wants to create healthy habits, lose the weight so she never has to diet again. And that's exactly what we provide in Health Point. So I wanted to bring that to you, bring that to your attention in case you were not familiar with those drugs and what is being slid into the marketplace as Band-Aids for good health, which in fact is not. And that's why we call our program Health Point and not Diet Point. And by the way, Tuesday night, we'll be explaining the program. So if you have any folks that are in a position where they want to take out control of their health, Tuesday night uh, webcast would be a great place for them to be. So with that, Eric, I'm going to turn back over to you and hopefully you found your bike and you're on it riding. I am, I am. And again, <clears throat> kids don't, I don't recommend this at home. <laughs> um, but no, actually, this is a, a lot of fun. Um, well, what a foundation. And by the way, as I'm riding a bike here, if if there's some um, wind noise or anybody else, uh, or anything like that, please uh, somebody chime in and let me know if uh, I should mute. Um, well, that is a great foundational topic. You know, this class of GLP-1 drugs that it's, it, I don't, Actually, I, I think I do understand some of the reasons why it's gotten such favor in the marketplace. Uh, you gave some numbers there, Carol, on how much of that has been sold. I'm going to definitely want to chime in on this. I've done, you know, some research on this class of drugs, um, you know, just as well as you know, some of the other drugs that are commonly prescribed for folks that. Um, you know, have type two diabetes or prediabetes. So it's good to have some level of understanding for sure on this. And I definitely can um, can chime in on some things regarding <laughs> Ozempic and the GLP-1 class. So, uh, but for the moment, uh, moving along and gosh, we've got um, <laughs> Kathy. I know Okay, Eric, I think we kind of lost you for a minute, but since you said my name, I'm guessing you're queuing me up. So I'll go ahead and jump in and uh, end the silence, so to speak. Good morning, everybody. Um, morning, Kathy. Hello. Uh, things, are, things are going well. Um, I, I don't know. I guess I'll just, I'll give the update because a lot of people always kind of want to know. So um, today is one year 155 days, well, it will be by the end of the day, of doing 10,000 steps a day consecutively without missing a day. So Woo! I'm almost, almost a, a year and a half. <laughs> so um, feels pretty good, that's for sure. Um, you know, as Carol was saying about, you know, with, help, with starting Health Point, you start to feel, you know, better as you go on. And uh, just a quick recap for me, since I know you have a couple new people on. Um, I lost 58 pounds over four years ago. I've kept it off. I did not do 10,000 steps a day consecutively during the four years that I had lost. Well, during the time I had lost the weight, sometimes probably I did get up to 10,000, but I'm going to say, I'm going to be honest here. My normal step count probably every day during my <clears> weight loss <throat> weeks in the first couple cycles was probably six to 7,000. I didn't really get 10. Um, I think really until COVID hit. Because when COVID hit, you know, they were just stressing about trying to be healthy and uh, keeping yourself healthy and uh, strong. And I knew that 10,000 steps a day would be something that would help in that matter. And so I did that. I still drank my water. And I, that's when I kind of started to try to make more of a focus on it. And well, in 2022, that's when it really became who I became, basically. Because, and it all started because I had a Fitbit. And every day I would tell, see the streak and I thought, yeah, I want to see what this thing does after a year. And <laughs> honestly, it was an extreme disappointment. It didn't do anything. It just said, you're on day 366. And I was like, okay, well, whatever. But um, inside for me, it was quite an accomplishment. And now as a health point coach, I definitely share that with 
everybody that I get to talk to because, you know, it's important. And most of you know that I do work a full-time office job. I'm an administrative assistant for an educational service agency, but I usually get the majority of my stuff on my lunch hour. And if it's nice outside, we're in Michigan. Sometimes it is, sometimes it hasn't. Most of the summer, it really hasn't been. But even the wintertime, I'm, I'm up on the third floor and I go in the lobby. Well, just the other day, I was in the lobby getting ready to go outside, actually. And I saw a consultant who I've known for a couple of years. She's like, oh, are you going outside to go do your steps? I said, you better believe I am. I said, matter of fact, I said, today's one year in 152 or something. It was earlier this week. And she's like, what? And I said, yeah, she goes, every day? And I said, I go, well, you see me every day. And she goes, well, yeah, but every day? And I said, yeah. And she's like, oh, my God. She's like, you're my inspiration. And she's like, I need you to kick me in the butt. She's like, I'm, I'm going to email you. I, you know, I, she goes, text me, like, kick me in the butt. And I'm like, well, I don't have your number. And she goes, okay, well, I'll email you my, I'll email you my, my number. I'm like, all right, email me your number. I'm like, and then when I get your number, I'm like, I have a video that talks about the benefits of 10,000 steps a day. And David Dasow <laughs> shared that with me. And I've shared that with so many people and people at work who know I'm a health and wellness coach, but that's just it. They just know they haven't inquired anything, but she did not email me that day. And I happened to see her the next day. And I'm like, Rosalind, she's like, what? I'm like, you didn't send me your, your number. I'm like, I can't text you and help you be accountable. If you don't send me your phone number. Oh yeah, that's right. You know? And she's like, really, I need you to kick me in the butt. So, and she does look like she could tend to lose some weight. So, you know, I'm just going to start real soft with her. And again, just try to try to support her. And, um, you know, people are watching you, so <laughs> keep that in mind if you're looking to get some uh, momentum and get some maybe friends to join you and start your own kind of health coaching business or, you know, even, I mean, who cares? You know, people are watching you and they can cheer you on for your success. So um, the bottom line is just do your best every day and eventually it'll turn into a habit and it'll get better and better. So. That's my take for today. <laughs> that, that, that's great stuff, Kathy. It's just, I mean, we all have learned so much from, you know, a, a business mentor, a friend of ours that unfortunately passed away, Jim Dornan. But, you know, he, he always emphasized uh, the strongest form of leadership. And that's what you're doing, right? Is leadership is example. And so I, I just think that that, we can never overestimate that. And so getting your 10,000 steps a day, doing it for so many days consecutively in a row, just being, as Ben Physics says, be a product of the product. Um, you know, that's, a, that's the best thing that we can do. And if that's all we do, that's a very, very, very big thing. Um, but anyhow, thank you, Kathy. Moving around. Um, by the way, guys, you know, one of the great things that comes with growth, uh, which is great here, is we're kind of at a point where we just freewheeling it in a Zoom meeting. We're probably not going to be able to get to everybody. Uh, so we will move into something where anybody that wants to speak, so, you know, maybe learn to use the raise your hand thing. Um, and then, uh, but just know that since we do limit this time-wise, if, uh, if I don't get around to you, it's just because there's so many people in the meeting now, which is a great thing. Uh, but that said, um, I think we'll go to Billy and then to David and then to Corey. Um, so, Billy, if you're there, give us a Texas weather report. Yeah, good morning, everybody. I'm sorry I missed it last week. My son came up, uh, but I'm glad I made it today, although I was late because I had a problem with my computer for some kind of way. But anyway, I, uh, I'm i enjoying myself. Love being around successful people. Uh, I got a chance to see uh, Carol and Eric Thursday night on, uh, on with, with Amway. They were testifying. I enjoyed that. It was, it was great. Carol and Eric and, and the speaker, I forget his name, but I enjoy both of them. But anyway, everything going great. It's, the weather cooling off a little bit, but other than that, I am I'm I'm setting I have set a 30 30 day goal 
and I'm working from Thursday to Thursday, working on myself. So we're going to see how they're going to come out. Excellent. You know, Billy, when I think of uh, you, I think so much now of, um, um, boy, I'm drawing a blank on the, on the author's name, uh, Earl Nightingale. Because you had uh, done a lot of study with Earl yeah. Nightingale. So, uh, love it, love it. Well, you are uh, a very deliberate learner. You know, we learned uh, recently, morning, uh, recently about how you are very deliberate with your gratefulness. And that made for a very great uh, clip in our segment, by the way. And also, since you missed last week, I'll tell everyone, uh, Erica's on the... <laughs> line here but she's going to just kind of stay uh, a fly on the wall as we say but she did that, that segment last week we all were talking about gut health and she did that segment on uh four seven eight breathing yeah. and okay. the sympathetic nerve and the parasympathetic nerve and i asked um gray Wind to clip that and put it up on our youtube channel and it is there and it is fantastic Okay. is a very valuable asset for for all of us so it's there for for everybody billy since you okay. were able to make last week's meeting you'll love that and guys also as a reminder these entire segments are on the youtube channel as well so if you miss a segment and just want to catch it on uh, youtube you can do that as well so um anyhow thank you billy and uh moving on morning, to our next i think i said David and then Corey. Again, anybody that wants to speak, if you don't want to, we'll just hang around a bit, see if you come on camera on mic. And then maybe Linda. Uh, it's great to see you on here, Linda. So if you care to speak after Corey. But David, are you there? Chris and I are here. Wonderful. And, and uh, there you in are. Michigan, the weather is changing. So we're getting that football weather where you don't know if it's going to be hot or cold. Uh, but uh, it's sunny, which is always wonderful. And so grateful for the sunshine, another beautiful day. And, uh, I, you know, and I'm, I'm grateful. Last uh, Tuesday we had the, the, the training session, and uh, I just want to compliment Kathy, who I've seen her grow over the years. <clears throat> she was so smooth and so confident and had some really great stories to share. And uh, what a blessing that was. Yeah. And I know that Eric has shared before, and I hope I get this right, that it's you do, learn, teach. Am I right? Yeah. Yes, and, that's correct. And Kathy is just an unbelievable, great example of that. And she's also just a great example of that starfish story. Can't touch everyone, but touch the ones that come across your path. And uh, then also on... Tuesday night. I'm so blessed to have Steve Beber and you, Eric, because both of you are have the ability to take very complex information and make it simple so someone like me can understand it. And so uh, just grateful to have you guys in my life and in my community. And so I, I am grateful for the community. There's others also. But um, and so it's been a good week for me. And uh, Again, just you know, staying plugged in, enjoying the community. I love it. I love it, David. Boy, we, you know, you, I think, are the most clippable person in our Zoom. <laughs> 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 you you have these, uh, I, I know when uh, Grey Wind is going through and just uh, formatting the clips and so forth, uh, you've got to be her go-to person because, you are just a, a quotable, clippable kind of a talker. I love it. And it's just gems that come through. So thank you for that, for sure, always. And uh, moving along, uh, Corey, I think you're on here. If you're interested in unmuting and chiming in, we'd love to hear from you. We'll wait a bit if you are. And then Linda, after that, if you're interested as well. So Corey, are you there? Yes, sir. Good morning, everybody. Glad to get back on here, Larry and um, Dave. Uh, and I said, yeah, get back on the uh, Health Point. Got some more interesting conversation. Uh, Health, Point, Health Point Zoom 
got some great information and um great testimonials. So I was like, yeah, get, definitely chime in on here. Um, my wife uh, Nika is her cousin, also is um real health conscious. She's um just learning, listening a little bit on here today as well. Uh, Santana, and um, so she really helped us with um, you know, giving us a nudge to eat better even more and just continue to do that as we supplement with the uh, Nutrilite products continuously. And um, even Anika has definitely said, okay, I need to start exercising more, getting things ready, you know, to um, stay fit as we as we grow, as we mature, as Hank says, <laughs> as we mature in these years and stuff. So, and um, I'm definitely been uh, more keen to the, um, the muscle products as well with, um, even though that's not um, particularly at the uh, go-to, you know, one health point product, that's, that's one of my favorites, is the, uh, you know, excess um, pods and also the um, muscle multiplier, which I need to get some more of that. And uh, But it's um, definitely been great. Continue to, I like to lift weights, uh, maintain and continue maintain and grow muscle growth. That's been my personal focus with that. And um, I I've, I guess I'm progressing with that because now I'm starting to get different kinds of um, – People out there to say, oh, you look like so and so, and you look like so and so, and this this person, this guy, like that. And I'm noticing these guys are bigger guys than I used to get, you know, noticed as uh, because before, like years back, I'd be, oh, you you, you remind me of so and so, this this character, this basketball player. They were thinner guys, and now I'm getting, you know, uh, noticed and called, oh, you guys are like Kyle Malone, like guys are bigger kind of mass guys or things like. So, okay, something is kind of working here, but I hope I want to keep this as muscle for sure. So. I want to definitely maintain it um, out here in um, Fairburn, Chattahoochee Hills, Georgia area. So we're out in the country and there's a lot of trees out here, uh, plenty of space to walk. And um, But we're kind of cooling off there as we get approach the uh, fall season, autumn season. And right now it's about 68 degrees. So it's kind of really? funny um, seeing that here as it's been hot the last few weeks. So it's been pretty hot. 80s, <laughs> almost a 90 in some cases, but now it's dropping off. So it's not too bad. It's really cloudy, so it's it's not. It feels pretty good out here today. I love it, and man, it's just. I, I know I can speak for everybody on here. It's so great to see you on here. I'm glad that uh, David and Larry and and uh, you know kind of encourage you to be on here. It's just great to see you, Corey. Man, you're a. Uh, yeah, when I think of you, man, I just. I, how tall are you, by the way? I, I've never asked you. You're a tall, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm six foot six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're uh, you're big, and then your, your wife's pretty, really tall too, isn't she? Yeah, she's about she's about five ten ish or so, five eleven, five ten, roughly. Yeah, yeah. These, yeah. these two, for those of that have uh, have seen um, uh, these two human Anika. beings, they are uh, they're like uh, <laughs> runway material, man. When they're walking together, you're like. Where's the red carpet? I know I'm among the celebrities there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, They're like a power couple. It's really awesome. So great to have you on here, Corey. And I'll tell you that muscle multiplier, you know, the essential amino acids product. Um, and that's actually, I think we're going to, I know Ben Physic is emphasizing that more and more in, uh, you know, over in Australia and so forth. That's an incredible, unique product. Um, David, you mentioned about C. Beber. He, you know, has a great nutritional science background and he does a great breakdown on that. Um, you know, because it's not just your ability to take in protein, which is its own challenge with a lot of people, but your ability to synthesize that protein. And especially as you get older. Um, last week, my dad was up at our cottage and he does great. You know, he's a great example of what it's like to live well, live healthy. But he also recognized that he's struggling to get enough protein in. And of course, as you get to his age, you know, the, the muscle mass can uh, decrease. And so we talked about the essential amino acids and so forth. So uh, he's hooked up with that product now, uh, along with the ability to get more protein, good say from our either our pods or neutralite or dmx uh he loves that so yeah this, that's a great product i'm glad you brought it up uh Corey. good good stuff so thank you and um linda i think you're on here so if uh if you're there and available 
I'd love to hear from you. Well, good morning. It's great to see everyone. I've missed a couple of weeks, so it's it's nice to uh, it's nice to know that I can go to YouTube and see uh, some of the things that I missed on there. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I think I, I I saw this article in a magazine, and it was entitled "How to Stay Healthy Longer." And of course, that uh, that caught my attention. And um, in the article, uh, it started out by saying that. Uh, uh, it's not just about extending our life. It's also about really feeling great in those years ahead. And um, I don't know, my my feeling has all, always been, I, I don't mind getting old. I just don't want to look old and feel old. And, uh, and certainly we have the, uh, we have the products that, that can help us with that. And in the article, it was very interesting um, because it goes right, as I was reading this article, I was like, oh my gosh, this goes right along with Health Point. And um, it said uh, three factors, exercise, eating well, and sleeping enough extend the health of almost every system in our body. And, uh, you know, that's so true. And, um, and it also said that there is a, a, a fourth factor there. And I'd really not thought about this before, but the fourth factor, they said, is a critical uh, social connection. And man, do we have that? And uh, it was just really cool reading this. And it said that recent research shows that the higher your daily step count, the lower your risk of heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and dementia. And it also said, and Kathy kind of referred to this when she was first on Health Point, it said recent studies also show that you may not need to get 10,000 steps to enjoy some of these benefits. So I know sometimes that when we're working with people, uh, there are some people that just don't get to that 10,000 step mark, but they're still getting some benefit. I don't know about uh, other people uh, who are on here, but you know, I really, before Health Point, I never really thought about getting 10,000 steps every day. And because of Health Point, you know, that is not just something I do occasionally, that is part of my daily life uh, and getting those 10,000 steps. And, uh, you know, in the article, it also said that uh, consider whether you might need more protein. And Eric talked about that this morning. And I think as we get older, uh, well, I don't think, I know, you know, we tend to lose uh, muscle mass. And again, you know, getting more protein, we have the, we talk about protein snacks in our program. We have a great protein powder. We have the protein pods now, and I'm a big a uh, big proponent of the muscle multiplier, you know, and uh, it was just, it was really cool for me to read this article. And even though we don't talk about, when we talk about health point with people, we don't talk about the fact, uh, you know, we're going to extend your life here because uh, that's, that's not what we're about here. But the things that we do with health point uh, does help to extend our life and make us feel really good in those uh, years that we're advancing to. So I just I just thought that was so cool. Health Point is just an absolutely wonderful program. Uh, love it, love it, uh, Linda, and so great to to hear from you. Here I thought you were just off on another cruise, you know. <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, <laughs> I think you were on a Alaska cruise, one of the recent, uh, relatively recent ones. So uh, yes. I'm so glad you're able to uh, be here and, and contribute. Oh my gosh, you know, yeah, I guess it's probably not a good idea for us to say, hey, Health Point uh, helps you live longer or something right. like that or make any kind of claims and so forth. But boy, you know, as somebody that's, deep in the uh, education in this space and, and uh, whether it's formal education uh, and getting various certifications or just informal following people like Dr. Casey Means, Dr. Lustig, um, Dr. Uh, Peter Atia, they will tell you. <laughs> so uh, if 
if we're not going to say it, I will tell you, they will go on record and just say, if you do these things, basically that these health point things, uh, it will get that kind of result. So we'll let them take the, uh, uh, take the exposure of, uh, exactly. of, of liability. We'll stay on the, you know, under promise and over deliver space, which we do. Um, but, um, well, this is great. Thank you again. Um, I think I'll go ahead and chime in and then um, Larry and then Hank, uh, again, both of you, if you're interested, but I'll chime in on some of the things that uh, Carol, you were mentioning about uh, Ozempic. And so this, this is a class of drug. It's basically a, an appetite suppressant is kind of how it functions. There's been these types of things in the past with really some bad outcomes. You might remember things like FenFen and basically, you know, these were, you know, hyper stimulants and, you know, that, that type of stuff did get pulled. Who knows how this Ozempic and this class of GLP-1 drugs will, will play out. But uh, the first thing I'll say about it is I'm, I'm surprised that it's got such wide adoption because this is not a, what I would consider an attractive product to take. Um, and so that kind of puzzled me because this is an injection product. Okay. So it's akin to like an EpiPen type of a thing where you're, you know, you're, you're giving yourself some dosage via, you know, punching a needle into your body. But I wonder, particularly if someone is type two, which would be the case likely or pre-diabetic or diabetic. So if they're already used to taking insulin injections um, or maybe less of a of a big deal would be just like poking their fingers. In other words, they're not foreign to needles. You know, some people, the first thought of somebody, a doctor or somebody saying, hey, this is what I suggest you do. And by the way, what you're gonna do is you're gonna poke yourself with a needle. How do you, <laughs> you think about that? Most people would be running for the doors, right? right. Um, but I guess if you're already kind of poking yourself with a needle, um, either with insulin injections or something, this is this is no big deal. But it is what it is. It, it is kind of something that is uh, making um, hold in the market. So we'll see how it plays out. I mentioned earlier about Dr. Peter Atia. Uh, he's spoken a lot about this in a very balanced way. I mean, this this guy's an MD. You know, we're clear in Health Point. There is a role sometimes for things that food won't necessarily fix. Of course, you know. If you break an arm, you probably need a doctor to reset that bone, right? We're not, we're not making a case that that's that, 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 that type of recommendation is not a good idea. And, and maybe there's a time where a pharmaceutical of some sort may be called for or certainly recommended. But in this balanced commentary, what Peter Atia and others will point out that should be known, and again, I would just cite him for the specifics on this, but the significant thing that happens with Ozempic and that class of drugs is that in this weight loss, you're not losing the typical ratio of fat and muscle. So when we're talking about health points or using food, whole foods and nutrition, we're focusing in on a system that will turn your body into a burning mode, into a fat burning uh, uh, machine, basically. And we're not talking about reducing muscle mass. Quite the contrary. What did we just talk about? We're talking about essential amino acids. We're talking about good, clean uh, proteins. And the whole foods aspect of the menu plan days is focusing on adequate protein. And also we're talking about walking and so forth. And it's all about, you know, maintaining <clears throat> or maybe even increasing muscle mass. Well, when you look at the, <clears throat> the um, you know, the clinical trials and the results of that class of drugs like Ozempic, what Peter Atia is talking about is that you have a very concerning reduction in muscle mass 
So if somebody takes Ozempic and they say, Yahoo, I lost 20 pounds. Great. Was that 20 pounds in fat or was that 20 pounds in muscle or was that 10 pounds in fat and 10 pounds in muscle? And that's not something that you hear blasted over the airwaves. And he's pointing that out because they have they have patient load where they're doing these measurements. And again, they'll still recommend that product in certain situations, but at the same time, they're monitoring things like uh, the, their, their muscle mass drop. So that's definitely something to be aware of. Now, <clears throat> you compare that and contrast that again to health point and we're just the opposite. And it's uh, the, the other thing that I would, would point out in here is that, you know, a GLP-1 class of drugs, these are very, um, you know, they're trying to affect, well, I don't want to throw that uh, drug specifically into it. There's a lot of these classes of drugs that are affecting the chemicals, the hormones, and so forth, trying to trigger something, be it tr to trigger appetite suppression and so forth. Hey, again, we don't necessarily shout it from the rooftops with health point, but let's remember insulin is one of the most potent hormones, most potent chemicals in our body. And like many of the hormones, these are signaling devices that some of which are just going on behind the scenes that are turning things on and turning things off. And other hormones are, we are very much aware when they're up or down or at a healthy level or an unhealthy level. And one of the things that for those of us that have done health point and uh, particularly those that are new to health point that they are often surprised at is wow, I just don't have the cravings like I used to. All right. Why is that? Because when you get off the mm -hmm. insulin roller coaster, the insulin, you know, when our pancreas secretes the insulin to try to process the high volumes of sugar that is floating around in our bloodstream, <laughs> we get on that, what we call an insulin uh, roller coaster where you go, you know, super sharp rise in insulin from, we call that, you know, hyperglycemic. And then when all this insulin gets secreted, either by your pancreas or by your, um, if you are taking insulin injections because you're type two diabetic, you flood the systems with this hormone and that blood sugar comes screaming down. And it's, that's when you once again, get super hungry. Uh, we don't even call it hungry. We have a name for it. We call it hangry, right? Because we're, we've experienced that. Or Carol, I know you talk about, you know, that's what causes a lot of road rage, road rage as people are mm -hmm. trying to get home. They're, they're, they're low blood sugar. They're hangry. They're yelling at people. And, you know, that's, that's chemical imbalances. That's unhealthy mm -hmm. levels. And people that get on a uh, health point, uh, in fact, I've got a, a gentleman that is, uh, in fact, I'll put the clip up on our Facebook channel uh, soon, but I, I had a Zoom with him, kind of an update. He's just wrapping up his second cycle, and he is, uh, we'll call it 40 pounds down, okay? He is um, uh, started at 303. He's a young man. He's in his early 20s, and he's down to into the 250s. And one of the things that he pointed out is he just doesn't crave the sugar. Well, guess what? That's because of, well, it's primarily because he stabilized that hormone. He stabilized that insulin. He's gotten off of that sharp rise and sharp drop of insulin, that roller coaster, and it's into a level. So my point is, is that these, these, um, products like Ozempic and others that are trying to trigger chemical states in our body to suppress appetites or do other things. We have capabilities to do that naturally. And you know what? It's quick. I'll tell you another one. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, 
Uh, she just sent me a note. She was on here and, and she's up in a uh, Northern Michigan area and the signal is cutting out, but I'm, I'm confident she'd be comfortable with um, stating this. She's in her first week and she's about five pounds down. But what she said is that her, her, in, or her blood sugar has dropped. She's typically clocking in around 139, 140 uh, millimoles on the, uh, on her blood sugar uh, test. You know, she, I'm sure pokes her finger in the in the morning and takes a test and not even a full week partially through her first week she's dropped down to 114 okay mm -hmm. so that's incredibly healthy from an overall metabolic health standpoint but also what that does is now that blood sugar is an insulin that hormone is balanced out and she's going to have less and less cravings. She's probably already experiencing this. If she was on here, she could speak for herself. But guys, we have the ability to do that naturally uh, through the Health Point program. So, um, so that's what I would say about this class of drugs, um, like Ozempic. It's, it's not without side effects. The most notable thing is the loss of mass. The, the um, ratio of muscle to fat loss, 20 pounds is not 20 pounds. I mean, it, it is, but I mean, is that 20 pounds in fat or mm -hmm. is that 20 pounds in uh, muscle? And I think given a choice, people don't want to be losing muscle. They want to be losing the fat. And uh, so they just have to be aware of that type of stuff. So, all right, that's a quite a... Science yeah, corner, Eric. deep dive on that. Sorry about the month. Eric. Go ahead. Thank yes. you for taking the complex and making it simple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, I, I hope I did. And uh, so it is a, a fairly complex topic. And, you know, we've got, you know, when you have something that is gotten so much play in the marketplace um you know to me it's, it's a bit worrisome because again it doesn't address the root cause you know where are the healthy habits in that um you know if someone's doing everything that they can be doing and learning and you know you know becoming part whether it's health point or something else you know if they're not developing their healthy habits the movement, the hydration, the micronutrients, the macronutrients, and they're instead just going, hoping that a pill or an injection is going to make their life uh, perfect. Um, you know, maybe I'm old school, but I've never found that to be the case. Uh, uh, and these healthy habits are not that hard. This is, that's the other revelation that people have in Health Point is like, wow, yeah, it took me a little bit, like anything else, you know, uh, everything's difficult before it's easy. You know, there was a time when you, 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 you cried and cried because you couldn't tie your shoes. Well, guess what? You, you know, you stayed at it and pretty soon you could tie your shoes and now you can tie your shoes and chew gum and have a conversation and it's second nature. And boy, you go through some health point and you get to lifetime maintenance. It's, it's like tying your shoes. This is not hard. This is just how we live now. And so anyhow, um, with that, I am going to mute and turn it over to, I think, Hank, you are next if you're available. Hope you are. We will see. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. Let me see. Hank, if you are there, I am you here. are. Can you hear me? All right. <laughs> yes, there he yes. is. Good morning, everybody. I'm listening to all of you. It's always so great to see all of you on a Saturday morning, getting all moving and going in the right direction. And, you know, as I was listening to everybody, listening to Carol as she's coaching her latest uh, student on uh, Help Point, it really re makes you realize how great Help Point really is. Besides getting you started on the right track to proper eating and balance in your system, it also introduces you to the neutralized supplements. 
As we all know, Nutrilite is the number one selling supplement in the world because it is the only certified organic supplement line, right? And uh, I'm a walking testimonial on that. All right. As many of you know, I just celebrated my 90th birthday this past few days. And we had quite a week and, uh, you know, done a lot of great stuff. But we ended up the week with a big bang of a hurricane. <laughs> Very exciting. I said, wow, did I cause all that? <laughs> but that's what it almost felt like, you know. But it's been great. And the fact that at my age, no medications, both both Carol and I, the same way, no medications, because we've been on the neutralized supplements for many, many years. And they are a proven testimonial if you do it right. Because, uh, you know, help or leads you, it gets you started, but it leads you to healthy living. And that's the key. Get off the junk, get off the garbage that most of us, you know, are grown up with and uh, learn to realize that it's not good for us. So that is awesome. And I just want to quote you a few things from uh, one of my favorite newsletters I received from a Dr. Sears, who's the first board-certified anti-aging physician. Okay, he's here in Florida, and he's really always got some great stuff. And he talks about why we need supplements, but not just any supplements, supplements made from plants. Because all this stuff in the stores, most of it is nothing but chemicals. That's why they don't work. And uh, our uh, help point line we, uh, introduces you to Nutrilite, which is awesome. And some of the comments he makes here, I just want to read to you, because uh, even the slight nutrient deficiencies, it tells us, make it impossible for your body to function the way it's supposed to, leading to chronic disease and discomfort. Now, these nutrient deficiencies, you don't get those from the vitamins you buy in the store because most of them are not plant-based, all right? But you do get them from Nutrilite, and that's awesome. He also talks about the RDA, the recommended daily allowances that the F, you know, they recommend. He said that's just enough to keep you alive, from, to keep you from dying. He said that's nothing what you really need. And he talks about how most Americans don't get the RDA <laughs> from vitamin D, E, magnesium, he mentions them all. And he says you got to really get on a, on a good product line that really gives you that. For example, not enough vitamin D in your system, your risk of almost every chronic disease goes up and your bones become brittle. Low on potassium, that sets you up for heart disease blood pressure problems, and kidney failure. Vitamin D deficiency can lead to cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. This is all from Dr. Sears, who really makes it a point to study all these things. And guess what? With Nutrilite being all plant-based, we get all those basic nutrients that you don't get in foods alone. Because as he explains, for one thing, our food is less nutritious. You could be eating the healthiest diet. Your refrigerator could look at, like a farmer's market, and that's good, but it's not enough. From years of pesticides, over-farming, toxic chemical runoff, our soil is depleted of essential mineral minerals. That means even our whole foods are less nutritious. And guess what? We complement our diet with Nutrilite, which gives us all those nutrients that our body needs that we don't get from food alone. And only Nutrilite can give you that because it is totally uh, farm-based. Uh, they own their own farms, as all of you know. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, it makes a huge difference. You stay on those Nutrilite supplements the rest of your life, and not just double X, because I know that's the, the foundational one, but start to expand your vitamin C. The, the, uh, the potency of vitamin C in our system. We are one of the few creatures that don't create our own vitamin C, okay? We have to ingest it. And uh, I love uh, Dr. Linus Pauling in his book. He says, how much vitamin C should I, should I take? And by the way, 
he won the Nobel Lord for that book that he wrote years ago. And he, he states it this way. Continue increasing your vitamin C until your bowel movements become loose and then back off a little. And then because it's a good sign, you're getting enough <laughs> vitamin C in your system. All right. I'm a big proponent of vitamin C. I believe in it totally along with all the other stuff that we take. So that's my take on this whole thing today. Stay healthy, guys. And Linda, love seeing you. I love the stuff that you uh, talked about today from the articles you read. And it's so important because it's not about getting not just old. Let's talk about old. Let's talk about getting more mature, okay, but staying healthy because right. – Numbers don't mean anything. As long as you're healthy, you're going to go on. We're, we're designed to live to 120, guys, okay? Let's make it happen. Let's go for it. I keep reading here and there. Once in a while, they find somebody that's 111 years old somewhere. Why? Because they live out in the wild countries and they eat good raw food from fields and so on. So just stay healthy, guys, and you got the best thing in your hands, Neutralite. Take advantage of it because you can live to ripe old age, but if you're sick, it's no fun. Now, I remember what, uh, uh, what's his name? Job's, yeah, Job's said when he was dying. He said the most expensive bed he ever owned was a hospital bed. No. You don't want to get there, all right? Stay away from that and stay healthy, guys. So, hooray for Health Point and healthy living. We'll see you all Tuesday night on our Health Point uh, webcast at 8.30 p.m. Have a great weekend. Love you all. Good seeing all of you. Bye-bye. Hey, Hank, that is so great. And, uh, again, congratulations on uh, on a wonderful 90-year birthday. Um, you know, the, the whole world was celebrating. The whole uh, weather pattern was celebrating he brought you in uh, <laughs> uh, uh there was that that big hurricane was just trying to blow out your candles you know so i had to, <laughs> had to, had to bring that in there uh so great well um let me just uh, make a programming note uh that uh next saturday we may or may not be uh on here because so many of us will be at a conference where we'll be undoubtedly learning Lots of stuff about uh, health and wellness. And so many of us will be in Oklahoma City. So when it comes to Saturday, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll make a, no a note or an announcement maybe on the Facebook group in terms of uh, whether or not we're still going to do that. We'll just see how our schedule is. Um, and if we, if we can't, we'll just table it. And then uh, speaking of conferences, and I don't know if it's um, – suitable to make this announcement yet carol but uh, it, talking about neutral light should we talk about the uh winter conference location and so forth i don't, or should I don't we think hold it's off? yeah i don't think it's been locked down yet just um just uh okay. build your health business <laughs> build there your health go. business right. stay, yeah stay yeah it, it, we'll get the definites on that once it's locked down Okay. Sounds, sounds great. So we will, um, and that won't have any effect on the near term anyway, that's not until January, but, uh, for this coming Saturday, uh, uh, I know I speak for Emily and I that can't wait to see so many of you. That's going to be so much fun. We're going to learn tons. Those that aren't able to be there live, there is the live stream ticket where you can, uh, you know, I, I believe, yeah, they have a live stream component to that. Is that correct, mm -hmm. That's uh, correct. on this one? Yeah. Y yeah. Yes. So, so if you're not able to make it, uh, you can maybe purchase a live stream ticket and, and um, you know, watch it from home or participate from home. But uh, anyhow, uh, with that, uh, it wraps up another awesome, awesome Saturday walk and talk. Uh, we'll get this uh, clipped and also uh, loaded the full length version loaded up to our YouTube channel for any of those that uh, want to review it or just weren't able to be on here. So for everybody, this was awesome. Thank you so much. And everybody, happy Labor Day and um, enjoy the rest of your uh, weekend and the holiday. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you later. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Have a great week.